Hey everybody, Carl Schuch here from Snorkel.tv and today I have a really fun little file to share with you uh, and some really cool techniques. What we're going to be doing is showing you how you can animate a whole mess of children of any display object container without giving them instance names. And what that means to you guys is you can put a whole bunch of movie clips inside of one movie clip and instantly all of the children clips will animate and we can do it in sequence and also we're doing it here randomly. You'll notice every time I hit the animate button that the fish come in in a different sequence. Alright, so what we're going to do is jump on over real quick to my start file and I want to show you that on the stage I have something here called container MC. Alright, inside of container MC I have all these little fish guys here but none of them have instance names. And I'm sure that most of you, whenever you go to animate something, you always give it an instance name so you can target it. Well, here, what we're going to be doing is looping through all the children objects of container MC and putting them all in, a, in an array. And then we're going to loop through that array and animate each one. So we're not going to need to have instance names. So right now I can test this file out and you'll see that all four fish animate in in random sequence. If I take all these fish and if I just inside of container MC, make some copies. Now I have 16 fish. You'll see that there we have a random sequence and I didn't have to make 16 instance names or any of that. So let's go into the code real quick. We'll go back to scene one. So on the stage I have container MC. And the first thing of note that we're doing is that we have this clips array and we're setting it equal to what our get children of function returns when I pass in container MC. Get children of is going to return to me an array of all the child elements of any movie clip or any display object container. So if I scroll down here, I have this little uh, helper function that I built with a little bit of help from a discussion on actionscript.org that I recommend that you check out. Uh, but basically we pass in most likely a movie clip we're going to create a temporary array. We're going to figure out the number of children that that container has. We're going to loop through all the children in that container. And for each child element of that container, what we're going to do is use the display objects get child at method to uh, get each child element. And we're going to push it into my temporary array. And then we're going to return that temporary array. So here, clips is just basically an array of all the children of container MC. If I go to trace clips out, like I am, let me show you what that shows you. You'll see here that we're getting, we get 16 clips and they're all movie clipped, object movie clip, blah, blah, blah. So that's the array that we get. We're not going to want to see that too much more. Now, when I do my build timeline, I'm then going to shuffle the clips array so all those children are going to get moved around to different positions in that array and I'm using the shuffle array method or function I should say that I stole from Matt Maxwell here's a link to his site which has some really great AS3 tips to note though there is a typo on his version of this little uh, snippet uh, mine is fixed so here shuffle array takes in an array it does some looping through it and it moves all the items around don't even worry about how that works and then it returns our temporary array called r2 so here i'm basically saying clips is equal to clips after it's been shuffled then i'm using a while loop to loop through the shuffled array and for every child element or every object i should say in that array we're going to append a new tween to my timeline and that tween is just going to tell every element in that array as we iterate through it to tween from an alpha of zero, scale x of zero, scale y of zero with a nice little back ease out. Uh, you'll see here that the duration of each tween is 0.5 seconds and I'm giving a negative offset of 0.4 when I do my append. So what that means is that every tenth of a second a new tween will start. And now all I want to do is just show you that I can put some other stuff inside of that container. So inside of container, again, it just doesn't need to be fish. I could literally type in a uh, text field. I could say, let's see how this works. Okay. And I could also go to my library and take out my buddy Bob2 and Bob1. 
All right, so now since they're in container, these are all child elements of container MC, and they're all going to animate in in sequence. All right, and it's all going to be random too. All right, now uh, the text looks a little bit funny just because it's scaling from the top left hand corner, but that's to be expected. Uh, so there you go. We are now randomly animating all the child elements of a movie clip without giving them each their own instance name. So that's it, folks.